Yo, what is good, YouTube? We are back with another video. I know it's been a while. Um, all I can really say about that is that I live in Florida, and they decided to send a couple hurricanes my way, and uh, Wi-Fi has not been the same since, man. So we took a little bit of a break. Um, also had other things going on, just nothing severe um, from the hurricane especially. It wasn't exactly severe. severe. It just kind of messed with the Wi-Fi just a little bit. Nothing huge happened to me, a lot of stuff in my area, but luckily God was able to bless me and not give me any big uh, issues off of it. So here we are, we're back. Uh, Wi-Fi is probably 70% what it once was. Still pretty laggy. Um, I haven't really touched 2K much. I've played I've played my um, I've played my career a little bit. I've been in the park. Uh, Call of Duty came out, so I kind of I kind of hurt 2K for just a little bit, but today we are going to be going over where to start in my team? This is going to be a video that's a little bit different for me. Typically, when I record these kind of videos, I have a plan. I have I have things that you know I know I'm going to talk about. This is nothing. And I thought about it. I was going to go into my team. I was going to make a plan like I typically do and talk about things that I wanted to talk about. But that's not what I want to do. This is the point of this is where to start. So I'm also going to go into this the same way that some of you might be. I'm going to go into this with absolutely no idea what I want to do. But I'm going to use my my team experience and prior years, the last seven, eight, however many years that I have played my team to kind of piece everything together and fix and build a team. So going into my team, here we go. The proof, I'm sure something will pop up. Yep, there it is. Something will pop up showing that I've not played my team this year. I am level 29. All of that's from Park. I did buy the um, the season pass thing, whatever it is. Um, so the first thing is we got 21 picks. If they blessed us with Buddy Heal, that'd be great. I don't know when I made the picks on this. Wow, I just got Buddy Hill. What a great way to start. Um, first of all, what a just great way to start. We just got Buddy Healed on the second pick. I don't know when I picked the first picks on the board. It doesn't really matter much to me, but I don't know when I did that. That must have been like one of the first days of the season because I have no memory of that. But anyways, the rest of this doesn't really matter. We got Buddy Heald on our second pick. That's a huge W. Um, I don't know how good that card is. I have no clue, but we're going to find out. I can't imagine it's not a good card. Uh, Buddy Heald usually has a pretty good jump shot, and when you're using a Buddy Heald card, your main purpose of it's going to be just to kind of have him standing there ready to shoot. I have not played a single minute of Unlimited. I know that they do like events, the King of the Court events on the weekends, whatever those are. I haven't played any of them. Um, so unfortunately, I have no clue how this whole setup of, you know, you could take three players to park to play triple threat, like that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how all that works. I have played a little bit of the triple threat we did on stream at some point. If that's something you guys want to see, we can definitely get back to streaming some of the triple threat and see how see how we can compete against other people in the park. Obviously, right now, my team's not going to be great as we get 500 MT. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. Who knows? Um, but we got 10 more picks here, kind of just getting whatever we can from this board. It doesn't really matter all too much. We got Buddy Heald. That's a huge W. Um, so as you can see, I don't know what it is, but in the last uh, last season and this season, the first two seasons, they've definitely boosted the boards for these Ascension prizes. I had never gotten an Ascension prize in prior 2Ks, and I had always gotten the most amount of picks you can get. I always got the level 40 or always got to the top of whatever it was to get it. Um, but I had never, which apparently I have in my team, uh, MT balance of 100K. So thanks, Xbox. That's a that's a good uh, sign, I guess. But I had never gotten the Ascension board. And I've gotten it in both of the first two seasons and haven't really, uh, if I remember correctly, the first season was kind of similar. I got it pretty early on the board. Uh, so they definitely juiced it a little bit and made it somewhat easier to get. As our last pick is going to be 200 MT, but we got Buddy Heal. That's a huge W. Um, now we get this. I don't know if everybody gets this. I don't know if I get this. I'm not sure what it is, but we get um, an NBA series player, it seems to be, which we are going to get Tyrese Maxey. Look at that. Starting point guard? Maybe. Maybe. Could be our starting point guard. Um, no, I know my team's not that bad. I am not. I can't remember what the team is. Now I guess we're going to get a free pack. Um, I would assume that this is stuff from the level leaderboard, which we get Dunktober. Okay. Giannis would be cool. Alrighty, so here we are. Um, a whopping five minutes later, we are finally in our team. Yep, that's that's kind of what I remember it as. So we got T Mac, we got very short Michael Adams, and basically nobody else. Um, we now have Buddy Healed. We have a duplicate T Mac, and that is it. We have a hundred thousand MT, somehow fifty thousand VC. I don't know. 
I don't know exactly why I have that. Um, but the level 40 season reward, which I'm only 10 levels away, is going to be Tyrese Halliburton. So assumption assumption being we won't be very good by the time I get those 10 levels. That will be our starting point guard unless something miraculously changes. Uh, we do get more ascension picks here soon. We get a lot more ascension picks that we, we really don't need. Um, we're, we're pretty set on the ascension board. Uh, we do get some more MT down there at 39. We do get a deluxe pack wheel spin. We get some more MT at 32. So there is more things. So I would say that one of the main things I would start with, if you're somebody who's just hopping into my team, one of the main things would be the season board. I know some people can't afford the $10. Some people can't afford the $20. There's still a lot of things that you can get on the free pass, which will be these bottom two columns here. The top column is the only column that you cannot get for free. With that being said, you know, you're going to miss out on the 25k MT, but you're going to get Hall of Fame badges. You're going to get double XP coins. Uh, you'll get them for my career and my team. You'll still get your Ascension picks. You won't get as many, but like I said, the difficulty is so low that I really do believe that you can still get them. I've gotten them early every time. Uh, you still get a pink diamond Tyrese Halliburton. There's still a ton of MT across the board. There's still all kinds of stuff that you can get. Uh, you get an Amethyst OB top. And I mean, there really is plenty of stuff that you can get off this board to at least make a team to start with. Then you can go hit the park. But the first thing that I would really be looking into would probably be a lot of these challenges. Typically in your signature and weekly challenges is where you're going to find the best stuff. Nothing here in signature. But if you come to the weekly challenges, now you start seeing hollow players. You get 80 plus overalls. Uh, 84 plus you get deluxe packs like this is what you're looking for you're looking for these free deluxe packs while most of the time they're not going to give you anything there's plenty of times where these deluxe packs will give you something the deluxe packs guarantee you a card from the set now granted that card could be an amethyst that card could be a sapphire i believe there's these season ones might even be uh emeralds in those packs i believe there are but you could end up with a diamond you could end up with a pink diamond um if you're somebody who's no money spent which is obviously somebody who's not going to be able to afford that top tier on the season board. If you are no money spent, this is how you're going to have to make up for it. You're going to have to grind these kind of challenges and test your luck. You're going to have to hope that you can end up pulling something you want out of it. So I would instantly go here, complete these four. If you're no money spent, even if you're not no money spent, if you have the time to do so, I would still give it a shot. I'll probably go hit this barbecue buckets one. I think that's probably going to be the most worth it. Um, and then the original owner one, I would imagine that this is winning games with the original owners. Uh, actually, it's just a, a set, a whole bunch of challenges. So I would just kind of go through these 15 Emerald Original Owner Assists, um, some Sapphire Threes. Like, all this stuff is very easy. I would go through all this. You get a 90-plus overall premium pack. You can't really go wrong there. That would be one that I would do. I'm going to go ahead and get that done when I'm done with this. So no money spent or not, I would do that. Unless the only reason you have to not do these is if you're somebody who's dropping hundreds of dollars on packs every week, then I guess you don't need to. But anybody who's like me, I spend the $20 on the season pass. I'll open packs every now and then. This time of year, I'm not going to open packs. I won't open packs until there's like consistent Galaxy Opals in them. Um, right now, I just, I'm just i not going to pay hundreds of dollars for a card that's not going to be good in a month. And I feel like a lot of people do feel that way when it comes to 2K. So I would go ahead and complete that. 90 plus overall, you'll probably get an Amethyst. You'll probably get a 90, 91. Um, but if you were lucky enough to get a Diamond or Pink Diamond, then you really can't complain there. Um, right here... You have Perfection Rookie. I'm not quite sure what this is, but you can go through that. This is just win a game by five. This is go perfect from three. You got to make two threes. Um, perfect in the paint is four points in the paint. You can complete that. The gems of the game pack, that could, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, that could give you a like 93. I believe it's as high as a diamond, maybe even pink diamond, but you also could get an emerald. So I would go ahead and pay attention to that. Um, and then these down here, I'm assuming you'll unlock after the Perfection Rookie which when you get up to Perfection All-Star, you do get the Diamond Demonis Sabonis. So I would complete this, considering how easy this is. Complete these three. Honestly, I can lie to you and say that I think this is easy. I have no clue. I don't know what it'll look like when you get to Pro and All-Star. But Rookie's obviously super easy. So even if you get through that, you can get here. And it's only three and four challenges on each one. So basically, whatever it is, it can't be that hard. Um, I would say the Sabonis one... There's four objectives. If I was going to take a guess, I would say that the hardest thing in there might be to ha like drop a triple-double because Sabonis gets triple-doubles every now and then. Maybe it'll say have a triple-double in a game. You can go to uh, Domination and put it on Rookie and get your triple-double there. Like I said, I have no clue. It's probably not in there, but if I was going to take a guess, that's what it would be. So I'd start with those weekly challenges. I would pay attention to these 20, uh, 
the 2025 season challenges. Most of these aren't going to matter right now. It's all 84s, but when you get to a deeper point in the year, these will start to matter a little bit. They typically drop some decent stuff when you start to get further into the NBA season. After that, I would go ahead and hit the triple threat park. When you load into triple threat park, it is going to put you out into basically just my career, but it's not my career. It's my career with your, um, with your my team. So basically you go out there, you can play as if you're on a my player, like you can control just one of your players and play with two other real people against three people. So it's a three on three, basically where you control your own player, or you can get one of the courts that is basically just your normal triple threat online. You control three of your players against somebody else controlling three of their players. And you go out there and just do the best you can. Um, I've been out there. I haven't been out there in a while, but when I was out there in the first season, everybody was really bad, like really bad. Um, I was playing people who had all pink diamonds. I was using T-Mac, Michael Adams, and Jawan Howard. That was my lineup. And I was I was doing fine. I don't think I lost a single game. Nobody's ever really particularly good. You get your sweats on uh, triple threat. You'll know when you get in the park. If you get there and you see somebody's on a 25-game streak and you're not confident in beating that, just switch parks and go to somewhere else. Um, but that's the good thing about it is that it'll kind of tell you. You can look and see if they're on a huge streak, then they're on a huge streak. The next thing I would do is the more you play, you're going to have all of these unopened packs. As you can see, there's a lot. I can keep scrolling. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of packs, and there's honestly some stuff in here that's pretty good. I've seen 90 overall packs already. There's a bunch of hidden gem packs. Um, there's stuff in here that's good. There's a diamond Tony Parker. I think that's a diamond. Uh, there's Hall of Fame packs. We'll open up one of these option packs just to kind of give you an idea of what the 90 overall packs look like. This is one from Season 1, so it's not very juiced. But typically, this is what it's going to give you. We'll open the Dunktober pack that we got for free off of our wheel. See what that gives us. Oh, it's actually one player. Um, so it's going to give us a Sapphire Larry Nance Jr., which unfortunately does not make the lineup. I don't know if, if that makes anybody's lineup. I think that they kind of just give you cards better than that at this point. Open our Gems of the Game pack. We are going to get a gold Randy Brown. Um, shout out to Randy Brown, man. I don't know who he is, but you got to be a hooper to make the NBA. You can't be a hoper. You got to be a hooper. So he's somebody. He might He might come in and start. I mean, honestly, he might come in and start. Um, but anyways, with that being said, that is the first things that I would do. There's obviously much more that you can get into, but I feel like what I've gone over here is probably three, four, five hours of gameplay going through those challenges, uh, working your way through the season board, that kind of stuff. It, it's going to take you a while, especially if you're not going to be able to afford the Hall of Fame pass, which, like I said, completely okay. But if you can, it gives you 10 levels, so you automatically will start at level 11 and move your way up. That really helps. I did it. I've gotten 20 levels. I haven't played a lot, um, but I have played a decent bit. It's all been park. It hasn't been any my team. I do believe the my team board moves a little bit quicker. It gives you a little bit more XP. But getting to that Halliburton is going to be a huge help for me and a lot of people. So that is the first thing that I would focus on as you do those weekly challenges. You do the season challenges, those kind of things. You're going to only work further into that board. With that being said, if anybody has any questions, if there's any video that you guys want to see, put that down in the comment section. We're back. We're going to try to be consistent every single day. I appreciate everybody. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. And I'm out.